Today, we're diving into One UI 7, Samsung's latest update for its devices. While it's shaping up to be one of Samsung's most significant updates yet, with a fresh UI design, tons of new features, and better customization, there are still some things missing. Let's talk about the top features One UI 7.0 didn't deliver and what we're hoping to see in the future. 1. Simple App Lock Let's start with app security. Samsung's secure folder is amazing if you need a secure, separate environment, but it's a bit much if you just want to lock a single app. There were rumors that One UI 7.0 would introduce a simpler app lock feature, but sadly, it's not here. Fingers crossed that Samsung brings this to One UI 7.1, because sometimes we just want quick, easy app protection without all the extra steps. 2. Better icon shape customization. Samsung gives us a ton of ways to customize our phones, but adjusting the shape of app icons, that's still a hassle. While tools like Theme Park, part of Good Lock, allow for some changes, the results aren't perfect. Things like white space around icons or edges being cut off can ruin the look. Other brands like Google, OnePlus, and Xiaomi offer smoother icon customization, and it's time for Samsung to step up and simplify this process. 3. Samsung Keyboard Needs an Upgrade Samsung Keyboard is decent, but let's be real. It doesn't hold a candle to Google's board when it comes to typing accuracy and swipe functionality. Many users love Samsung Keyboard's features, but we'd really appreciate board-level predictions and better typing performance. Unfortunately, One UI 7.0 doesn't bring any major improvements here. It's a missed opportunity to make typing on Samsung devices more enjoyable. 4. Better Battery Health Insights Battery health is a hot topic for smartphone users. With Android 14, some manufacturers now show detailed data like the manufacturing date, charge cycle count, and remaining capacity percentage. Samsung, however, still provides basic good or bad battery condition info. Even Apple and Google are ahead here. It's surprising Samsung hasn't jumped on this yet, but we're hoping they integrate more detailed battery health features in future updates. These missing features might not be deal breakers, but they're definitely things Samsung could improve to make One UI 7 even better. What do you think? Are these features you'd like to see in a future update, like One UI 7.1? Or are there other features you feel are missing? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Today, we're diving into the One UI 7 update and the timeline for its release. While Samsung has already confirmed that the Galaxy S25 series will launch with One UI 7 pre-installed, there's still a lot of uncertainty about when older Galaxy devices will get the update. Let's talk about what we know so far and what we can only speculate about. First off, Samsung doesn't have a definitive timeline for releasing One UI 7 on older devices. The One UI 7 beta program launched later than usual this time, and fewer devices were included, which makes it harder to predict exactly when we'll see the stable update roll out to older models. Looking back, the rollout for One UI 6.1 was pretty staggered. Some devices, like those with Galaxy Eye, received the update later than others, which led to delays. So using the One UI 6.1 timeline as a reference might not be the best way to estimate when One UI 7 will arrive. Here's what we can reasonably expect for the One UI 7 update rollout. January 22. The Galaxy S25 series will be unveiled with One UI 7 pre-installed. These phones should go on sale a week or two later after the pre-order period ends. February, Samsung might begin releasing the stable One UI 7 update for older Galaxy flagship devices like the Galaxy S24, S23, and Galaxy Z Fold 5 and Flip 5 and 6. While it's not clear if these will receive the update at the same time as the newer models, it's likely they'll be in the same general time frame. Galaxy S21 and its S22 series, along with the Galaxy Z Fold 3 and Flip 3, should also be eligible for One UI 7, though they may get the update slightly later than the newer models. March or April, mid-range Galaxy devices and possibly select budget models could start receiving the stable One UI 7 update. As for Galaxy tablets, it's tough to predict. We could see eligible models like the Tab S8 series and newer devices, as well as the S9 FE series, getting the update. Now keep in mind, these timelines are speculative and nothing is set in stone. Samsung's release schedule might change, which could lead to delays so it's important to keep your expectations in check. If the rollout doesn't go as planned, we don't want anyone to be too disappointed. So what do you think? 
When do you expect One UI 7 to hit your device? Let us know in comments section.